Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today's video will serve as a step-by-step -step guide walking through connecting the DJI Air 3 to a Windows-based computer or a Mac. Now, although many Air 3 owners may never have an immediate need to connect their Air 3 to a computer, there are two main reasons why someone would want to do so. These being to transfer videos and or photos to a computer, and also to access the DJI Assistant 2 software. Now, as mentioned, although not an immediate need just yet, there may be Air 3 owners in the near future who need to connect the Air 3 to their computers to access features and utilities that are found within the DJI Assistant 2 software. Now, this software is used to calibrate the Air 3's vision sensors, access Air 3 flight data, update the Air 3 firmware, and roll back firmware versions when and if this is even an option in the future. Now, once the Air 3 is connected to your Windows PC or Mac, you can use the DJI Assistant 2 software to perform the aforementioned functions. Now, note this. If you currently have the DJI Assistant 2 software for a Mini 3 or an Air 2S, well, those versions aren't compatible with the Air 3. You will need to download and install the DJI Assistant 2 software that is on the Air 3 downloads page. Shortly, we'll be walking through connecting the Air 3 to a computer. Now, the dual cameras on the Air 3 are known to take excellent pictures and videos. The cameras on the Air 3, both the wide-angle 24mm and 70mm telelens, take pictures in the exact same resolution, both taking 48 megapixel photos. Likewise, both cameras on the Air 3 shoot up to 4K in 100 frames per second. In addition, footage can also be shot in the D-Log M 10-bit color profile, as well as a 10-bit HDR profile, or HLG. The question, though, on many new Air 3 owners' minds may be, how do I access all of this content? Now, a useful method for accessing the content on the Air 3's external SD card is through the use of an SD card reader. Now, an SD card reader allows you to remove the SD card from the Air 3, insert the card into the reader, plug the reader into a computer, and then view and edit the information directly from within a directory on your computer. Now, for those who do a lot of photo and video editing, this way of accessing the information on the SD card is actually convenient because you won't have to find a spot on your work area to house the Air 3 and then plug it into the computer via the USB-C cable. Now, although there are alternative ways to accessing photos and videos from the Air 3 as mentioned, it still might be necessary to directly connect the Air 3 to a computer such as when pictures and videos have been stored directly on the internal storage of the Air 3. Now, to connect your Air 3 to a PC or Mac, you'll need the USB to USB-C cable that is included with the Air 3. Now, thankfully, this time around, DJI has included USB-C cables in all of the Air 3 combos, including the Air 3 and RCN2 only combo. Firstly, You'll want to connect the Air 3 USB to USB-C cable to your PC or Mac by plugging the USB side into an empty USB slot on your computer. Next, while the Air 3 is off, you can plug the USB-C in into the Air 3. Now, if connecting the Air 3 to a computer to access pictures and video, it's good to note that unlike previous DJI drones, there's no need to power on the Air 3 because when it connects to the computer via USB-C, the internals are accessible. Now, your computer, whether Windows PC or Mac, should then recognize the Air 3 storage. If using a Mac, the Air 3's internal drive will create a shortcut on the desktop, which you'll be able to double-click and access through Mac Finder. If you have an SD card in the Air 3, this will also be created as a shortcut on the desktop. Now, if using a Windows PC, you'll have to access the data on the Air 3's SD card and or the Air 3's internal storage through either Windows Explorer or File Explorer, and that all depends on which version of Windows you're running. 
Now, if connecting the Air 3 to a computer to work with the DJI Assistant 2 software, you'll want to follow the first two steps that we just mentioned, then launch the DJI Assistant 2 software. Next, unfold the Air 3's arms and legs, remove the gimbal cover, and then turn on the Air 3 by pressing the power button once, then holding the power button. Your computer, whether Windows PC or Mac, should recognize the Air 3 storage as well. Now, the fifth step, the DJI Assistant 2 software will then transition to a screen that shows your Air 3. Now, simply choose it, and then you'll be able to update the firmware as well as other options and utilities. Next, we'll talk about connecting the DJI RC2 or RCN2 remote controllers to a computer. Now, you may want to do this to work with the firmware in the DJI Assistant 2 software. So, connect the Air 3's USB to USB-C cable to your PC or Mac by, again, plugging the USB side into an empty USB slot on your computer or even a USB hub. Now, while the remote controller is off, plug the USB-C end into the RC. Open the DJI Assistant 2 software. Log into the DJI software using your DJI account credentials if you haven't already done so. Then turn on the RC by single pressing the power button once, then press and hold the power again until the RC beeps and turns on. The DJI Assistant software will then see the remote controller and switch over to the connected devices screen. Here, you can choose the remote controller model that you're using, and then you'll be brought to the firmware update screen. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions pertaining to this or other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. And of course, for more tutorials and reviews, feel free to head to DroneBlog.com. Thank you.